All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you and actually demonstrate the two best ways to use the magnesium oil. Now, remember, we're going to be taking this and absorbing it through our skin because what a lot of people don't realize is our skin is actually an organ of absorption and elimination. So because this is a rich concentration of magnesium, this is going to allow us to get a really potent, effective, and therapeutic amount of magnesium into our cells really quickly and really easily. So there's two ways that I like to do it. I'm going to show you both ways and then show you my favorite way and really what I believe to be the quickest, easiest, and most potent way to use it. So the first way is to do what's called a foot soak. And really all you need for that is a few things. First, obviously, the magnesium oil. And then second, you're going to need a tub for water. And for me, I like to heat the water up to a comfortable, warm degree. Obviously, you don't want it to be boiling. But you want it to be warm to where it's going to be comfortable. And this is about maybe seven or eight cups of water. You just want to have enough to really cover your feet. You don't want to, you know, be submerged all the way up to your ankle. You really just want to cover your feet and a little bit of your toes to make sure your feet are absorbed. And then from there, I usually use a glass uh, measuring cup and use one to four ounces of the magnesium oil. And then simply just add it in to the water and then I'll put my feet in there and just soak for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, you can do longer if you want, it doesn't matter. I say that just because sometimes I like to do it, you know, when I'm watching a movie or I'm watching TV or maybe I'm on the phone or I'm just really sitting around not really doing anything um, that's gonna require, you know, me moving around. So it's an easy and quick, simple way to really incorporate this in and get immediate, you know, relaxation and calming effects from the magnesium oil. So. My favorite way and the, the way that I use, you know, mostly every night is first obviously I take my magnesium oil and then you'll notice this is just a flip top uh, cap that you can, you know, pour out. And the reason why I didn't use a spray cap is because they just break a lot in shipping for whatever reason and they're really just not made too well. So for that reason, what I recommend is you can just take a little spray bottle like this, which you can get for, you know, a dollar or less you know at CVS or Walgreens or any really any store and actually most people just have these around and you can get these and basically what I've done is I've taken some of the magnesium oil poured it in here and then now I have this convenient spray top which I can then just take and apply you know to my feet or anywhere on the body so my favorite way and the way I do the most is to basically take the magnesium oil and just take you know start off with maybe eight sprays and then just rub it into my feet. And I start off, you know, on the side and then massage it into the bottom. And then sometimes I'll even, you know, massage it on the top, you know, sort of block it with my hands and then just massage it in, massage it between my toes and really just try to get it all over my foot. And I'll do about 30 to 50 sprays per foot and really make sure you rub it in well and make sure you massage it in because that'll help get it in your cells even quicker. So if you do 30 to 50 sprays, you know, per foot, that means a bottle like this is going to last for a month and a half to two months, which is really cost effective for the potent magnesium effects that you're going to be getting. And remember taking it in this form, taking it through the skin, using the magnesium oil is superior to taking it through food or through oral supplementation because we're getting a therapeutic effect. Because really, if we take in magnesium through our digestive system, we can only absorb and only digest about 250 to 400 or so milligrams before we just get a laxative effect. So we can't really take enough to get a therapeutic effect. But if we take it through the skin, we bypass the digestive system and are able to get a therapeutic amount of magnesium into our cells, whereas that's something we can actually feel and something we can notice, usually within minutes. So for me, I usually, once I do, you know, maybe 30 sprays on each foot and rub it in, it usually kicks in within a minute or so. And that's because we absorb so much through our feet and so much through our skin. So those are my two favorite ways to use the magnesium oil. Um, the benefit of doing it on your feet is that when you're done, you don't necessarily have to take a shower. You can just quickly rinse your feet off. Because this... This isn't actually oil, it's actually a brine or a salt water solution. So it can sometimes leave a little bit of an oily sensation on your skin or sometimes dry into a little bit of a salty formation. So you don't really want that on your skin. So that's why it's best to do this, 
you know, maybe half an hour before you're gonna take a shower, which for me is why it works in so perfectly at night. But really, you can do it any time and just make sure that you're gonna have time to rinse off. For that reason, that's why I like to do my feet, because I can just rinse it off real quick and be done if I'm not necessarily wanting to take a shower. Third thing you could do, and I've done this plenty of times before as well, is just a little more time intensive. Time intensive is just to basically strip down and just spray your whole body with magnesium oil and just rub it in all over wherever you can. Obviously, you don't want to do your eyes, you don't want to do you know, your genital region, you don't want to do your areas that are going to be really sensitive. Um, and the last caveat is that you know, if you have really sensitive skin or you notice kind of an itchiness from the magnesium at first, you can just dilute it with 25 to 50% water and that will mitigate that sensation. And what you'll notice is as your magnesium levels increase, that sensation will go away and you won't really have to worry about that anymore. So again, that's my two favorite ways to use magnesium oil. First, you know, as a quick foot soak, and second, just rubbing it in, massaging it in the feet, you know, while you're watching TV or watching a movie at night, or just, you know, winding down. So that's how you use it. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll talk to you soon.